everybody, welcome to Craft a Chat here at the Tech at Lowell Library. I'm Heidi, and today we're gonna keep our tree theme going. Last last month we traded winter birches. This month we're gonna do spring cherry trees. You know, not a lot of us are gonna be able to make it to DC to see them, so um, we'll just make our own. Now we're gonna give you two choices, and I will be painting on cardstock. However, the kit we're gonna provide you, the five kits to go, uh, will have a canvas in them. We're just saving them up for you. So, oh, you can do this kind of cherry tree, a little ethereal, Ooh, blossoms everywhere. Or, you can do more stylized one. Like this. Yeah, so it's a, your preference. Or, you know, you get your own canvas or cardstock, you can do, do both. See, I love that. You like freedom. <laughs> so, let's get started. It's very easy, and I think you're going to enjoy it. Now, we're going to use two different ways, like I said, for the ethereal tree. Well, it looks like this. We're going to do the branches first. Branches are the easy part. You need just a, you know, mid-size. This is a number six paintbrush and a finer point one for if you want to put the little extra branchings on there. Some brown tempera paint that we'll provide in your kit along with the canvas. So you will have to provide your own brushes. And let's get started. Don't be scared. It's free form. <laughs> Believe me. And, it, and the striations in this make it look like bark. So I love that. Start off a little thicker if you want the branches to thin out. Ooh, just turn the brush. So there you go. It doesn't have to be perfect. Trees really are perfect in their own way. Let me go straight that one out that way. Let me bring this one out this way. Thin it out. Ooh, there at the end. Turn that brush. Come on, bring that on up here. Our main branch here. Bring one out this way. You can pre-plan it if you'd like. You want to do a little pencil drawing on it. Um, you know, feel free to. <laughs> Some of us need a little more structure than others. Isn't that always true? And just do a little bit there. I think this might. See? If you want to get to the smaller branches, we'll switch to the smaller brush. Just do a little bit here. Make one coming out there. Bring it down to a little point. Like I said, branches are crooked. They have a life of their own, character all of their own. You know, making kind of a weeping cherry tree here. I don't know. I'm not going to get too specific here. <laughs> Into the autonomy of this thing. All right. I'm no Linnaeus for sure. Okay. Now. Ooh, that one's got lots of branches. I like that. It's got a character. Strong. Bring it out a little here. I'm going to put a few more in it. Like I said, I love the uneven look of it because that reminds me of the bark. All right. You can just ooh, let that swing it around a little, blow on it. <laughs> you can let it sit for, you know, about five minutes if you'd like. Not really necessary. But now, to make the cherry blossoms, we're going to use... A 12 ounce ooh, drink bottle. Look at the bottom. Yep, there's your cherry blossom. And we will provide the bottles <laughs> so you don't have to go digging around in your in the recycling bin. And we will provide the pink paint, the cherry blossom paint. Now for this one, the one that is the smaller blossoms, instead of dipping, I know you've seen probably seen people. Let me bring that over here. Move that over a little 
middle. You see, well, in the next one, the next tray, we will just dip the bottle in and stamp it. This one, we want a little more ethereal. We're just going to dab. We're just going to dab the petals with a little paint. Don't worry about the middle. We're not using that part on this one. Get your petals coated lightly. And then just dot the paper over the branches. So you'll have that middle. You just say, whoop, whoop. Now, you will have to repaint uh, maybe every time or every second time. Depends on how much of the canvas you want to show through. I like to do it every time. Oof, get a big glob off of here. <laughs> I was mixing this paint with this paintbrush too. That's why it has so much on it. some up here it's kind of fun totally free form take the blossoms where you will don't worry you know if you get a little brown on it it's just gonna cover up next time you paint it I make the sound effects too. It helps me. I don't know why. Usually I'll have music blasting when I do stuff, when I do crafts. But, you know, for this purpose, it's probably not a good idea. <laughs> What's your favorite music to listen to when you, when you craft or do mindless stuff? I'm still a big new wave 80s girl, so that gets me motivated. Or, or Jack Johnson. I could go either way. Put a little over here. A little down here. Alright. And as you see, easy peasy. We'll do a little, ah, I think it needs a little more over in the corner. That's a joy, but you just keep on going until you take out what you want. And if you want to, haha, <laughs> look like the cherry, the blossoms are falling, which you know, they do, and that's kind of the fun. You stand under one, it's like it's snowing. You just bring some down in here Ooh. as they come off the tree. There you go. All righty. And there. Just turn around. Fun cherry tree. Be great uh, birthday card, wouldn't it? Yes, Mother's Day card, fun stuff like that. If you want to do a smaller version of it, or you know, put a little dollar store frame around it. All right, now for our more substantial blossoms, like this one, we're going to put the blossoms on first. So let's get some more cardstock. And this time, we're going to be a little more heavy-handed. We're going to dip. So let's move that paintbrush out of the way. We're going to dip this in here. Just kind of dab it. Make sure everything's covered. And let's say, one up here. And you don't have to do much. Just set it down. Pick it up. And if it's a little smudgy, well, hey, free form. You think you have too much on there? You wipe it off a little bit with your paintbrush. Oh, pretty! And I would dip it in between each flower. These aren't the prettiest. But then again, every flower is kind of pretty. Oh, 
And if you don't like the way it looks, like, oh, I want more center. Oh, yeah, you just take the brush and dab. If you want to connect that, just go ahead and connect it. How about that? You know, I like to say no rules. There's always rules to stuff, but they can be bent. <laughs> Then we'll paint the branches up to meet the flowers. So again, the big branch here, trunk. Use the side of the brush here. They don't have to hit it, just suggestion. arching let the brush turn sideways make it a little thinner as you go up you can always fill it in if you think it's too thin but you can't make it thinner there you go Put another one up there, you can do that too. <laughs> now, I think it does need one. Don't you think it needs another one? Maybe not. Maybe that would upset my symmetry. The questions we have to ask ourselves. <laughs> Straighten up. There you go. Okay, so, boom, JJ. So how fun, I mean, yeah, it's just, keep going till you get it the way you want it. So you're doing it on cardstock, I, you might wanna do it on cardstock first before you start on the canvas, because hey, canvas, hard to do over. And everything's gonna come out looking different, see? This one's a little more blossoms or thicker, and a little more, air in there this one and then the one we just did so it depends it's wonderful whatever inspiration hits you and again we will provide you with a canvas maybe a piece of cardstock for practice too um if we can find if we can drink enough <laughs> of these we'll put the bottle in there with it that's your blossom your secret ingredient you will have the pink paint and the brown paint in your kit all you have to do is provide the brushes so hope you enjoy the cherry trees we enjoy making them and if you have any questions call us here at the Lowell library and you can always pick these kits up on our table outside with the curbside pickup so y'all have a great Great day, great creating, great fun, and be safe. And thanks for watching.